saw on Instagram that many people in the world are wondering why so many Palestinians they keep they feel strongly even though they've been given so many things bombed a thousand times but they but they all refuse to give up and why is that and the questions continue with the uh, uh, many of them that is known in Islam probably inshallah you're being bombed, your house is destroyed, you have no food, you have no water, you have no electricity. And how are you still thinking about God? Do you guys notice anything different about me today? No. Guys. I'm a Muslim today! Yeah! Give me a big hug, bro. Give me a big hug, brother. What is heaven? Anna? Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh Can we just talk about the response that we're getting from non-Muslims? Like to open up this app and see people talk about the Quran and see people tell stories from the Quran and then to go on and accept Islam is such a beautiful thing to see. I was actually um, a Catholic. I was a Roman Catholic so think as traditional as you can, very conservative. I am a revert. Alhamdulillah, I took my shahada recently. So I started listening and reading the Quran and uh, even just uh, listening to the recitation, it just touched my heart because your soul uh, recognizes its creator. So seeing how seriously the Muslim brothers and sisters took the religion um, opened my eyes. I've been shocked to my core at the faith that not just Palestinians have, but the Muslim people have. These people are witnessing their families being murdered in front of them, seeing their own children's body. I just cannot even comprehend the amount of faith to stay so strong. We talk about the Palestinian faith real quick because it's unlike anything I've ever seen. I have quite literally seen videos of people who have lost everything, even their children, and they are holding their dead children in their arms and still thanking God. So I want to know, am I meant to be a Muslim before I tell my family? And I have decided that I do want to be Muslim. I haven't done my Shahada yet, but every single time that I have to give you guys a new Gaza update, I get closer and closer to Islam. I don't have anything else that's bringing me peace right now but the Quran. So earlier today I made a video saying how impressed I was with Palestinian faith because it just seems that Palestinians have this ironclad faith even in the face of losing quite literally everything and people were commenting underneath saying well yeah girl that's Islam have you read the Quran you should probably read the Quran I'm the Quran because of the whole thing that's happening in Palestine at the moment it just got me thinking Allah indeed is the best of planners um well, I've been reading the Quran and I have a lot to say especially because I grew up as an evangelical Christian a Jewish person reading this as text for the first time I have never laid my eyes on the Quran before I got the Quran um, I got like a version that I can read and then also an audio version any of this stuff. The propaganda runs deep. I'm deprogramming as I'm trying to get education material. My my best friend, this saved him. Go ahead, go ahead, talk baby, talk baby. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. He took a shot and that's all he thinks. They're still saying, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Muslim Palestinians still seeing them say Allah is all-knowing. Palestinians are doing everything that was described Job doing in the Bible. I've not seen any footage of Palestinian people cursing Jewish people or Israeli people. These are people of God. I know these people were blessed by Allah himself. The yeah, hold faith is, is such an indomitable hope. They don't give up about this life, okay? The only thing these people fear is Allah. That's, it. That's something that people don't get to see often. Definitely not here in the West. Listening to the Bible, asking logical questions, were not allowed. When I read through the Quran, I see logic and divinity brought together. The result of that is on social media, I have seen so many people 
picking up the Quran and reading it. Through, you know, this entire thing with Palestine, so many more people are learning about Islam. So many more people are reading the Quran. You're gonna have a lot of people turning to Islam. I just bought my first copy of the Quran. I got the Quran. I started reading the Quran. It's my day two and reading the Quran. Seeing the brave Palestine people as they're losing everything. So much faith and peace while their families are being murdered. In the United States, we need a lot more empathy and understanding of Muslims and the Arab world. I need to know what y'all put in Islam, okay? I need it. Just from reading the second surah, I'm like, I get it. I understand why there's such a steadfast faith to anyone that follows Islam. Being shown just how wrong we were about this faith and how rich, how like, how deep and just the language of it, oh, how fluid and beautiful it is. We've been lied to the Western people and I took my Shahada. I feel tremendous peace and I'm going to be reading it forever. Can you imagine that they are being murdered, tortured, uh, slaughtered probably, and even slandered? They are okay. The beauty words come out from their mouths. That this kind of beauty is now revealed to the world. But actually it's not only in Palestine happening that way. Also happening in uh, India, probably in some parts of the world that are mostly being oppressed. Because in Islam teaching, Allah forbid a Muslim even just talk bad thing about other beliefs. I have a dream that someday, even though we are in different faith and different beliefs, we can live side by side happily and lovingly. Love reading from Indonesia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.